is here tuning in and uh, I just want to do a little discussion about um, it's a it's a pretty brisk morning I think it's like uh, low 40s this morning and uh, I'm on my way to work and I just wanted to kind of I noticed some issues and I keep running into them and I just wanted to make a public a service announcement kind of do a review here now that I've got Oh boy, I'm coming up to 3,000 miles on my FZ1 with these tires. I'm doing a review on my Dunlop Road Smart 3s. They, um, I'm going to just uh, say that they kind of suck. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm sure Dunlops work great for some people in certain environments. But I've noticed, uh, especially on the cold mornings, that the Dunlops uh, are like riding around with wood on your top on your rim instead of a rubber on your rim they'd like to slip a lot uh lose some traction uh under some acceleration and I, I actually don't really go under full bore in the mornings just because i'm gonna go through lester today um i don't usually go full bore in the mornings just because it's dark and you can't see things but um it seems to be okay now but they take forever to warm up and um if you're in the northeast like i am and you get up in the morning and it's really cold and it's dark out i mean right now it's 608 in the a.m and uh it's cold it's brisk it's dark it's uh, almost October now, and um, this morning I had a few instances, and I just wanted to kind of, it was like, you know what, I should just make a video. So, the Dunlop Road Smart 3 is a really not-so-hot tire for guys like me in the Northeast. Uh, I was turning around the uh, corner just earlier, just when I got out of my house, there's a couple of good little S-turns, and um, the front tire let out like on a little damp pavement but there was just no traction it just let out and I almost dropped the bike uh, I kind of held it with my left leg and it popped it back up but it was a bit sketch and um, a tire shouldn't be that cold and it should be that hard at least even my Michelin's like when they're cold they still at least function right now they're, they're working all right but earlier it was just bad and then it hit it did it again on a second turn about a mile down the road so it just they're not even heat they, you know they don't they take forever to heat up i don't really like heating my tires you know just gunning braking gunning braking just because um i hit the starter there by accident i got new gloves on um just because it's bad for fuel economy and come on guys the tire shouldn't shouldn't do that but that's my two cents that's my where i'm at this is a little short video uh, as i go to work keeping an eye out for deer Woo! bright lights low beam high beam low beam high beam low beam so just keep an eye out for deer in the morning so anyways, I just wanted to kind of put my two cents on that. I mean, I've run the Michelin Road Pilots. Pilot Roads, I'm sorry, or not just roads. And I'm really sold on those tires. I absolutely love those tires. They're exceptional on damp roads. The dumb-ups are not nearly as good as the the roads on, the, on wet roads. I gotta say that, and I'm just being honest. They just aren't as good. They grip way better these guys have had multiple times with instances of tire slip it's like come on guys tire slip like I understand the rear under power but the front come on so that's my noise for the morning uh, looking like uh, I'm been doing my first real tank with uh, new gearing 
Uh, just did the 46 tooth rear sprocket, 16 tooth front. So it's a little less than a gear down, a tooth down in the front. So I'm getting a little better fuel economy, but I'm still getting that nice pull. Bike still screams. And uh, it's been running pretty good. It's just so smooth. Uh, That's the thing with, uh, if you're gonna do gearing, and I'm gonna do it next time with the Bonneville too, is I'm just gonna do a big 17 in the front. You know, that's, that's 17, that's a stock size to the Bonneville. And then just do a huge rear sprocket, you know, just to kind of get that gearing where I want. It's just so much smoother. You go shorter in the front, you get a lot more chain noise and chain wear and clack, 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 clack. And it's just like, okay, done with this, this stuff. And then I got my last uh, FZ1, that was what I was running, was a, a larger rear sprocket i was running one of those vortex aluminum sprockets in a stock front sprocket i think it was 616 and uh it was so smooth i was like why didn't i do this before because i always went down 15 kept the rear sprocket the same and but 16 in the front definitely makes the, the chain a lot less noisy and it's just smooth much more smooth shout out to the sprocket center those guys I gotta tell you, I'm really enjoying this gearing. You guys make it so easy to gear your motorcycle. Find the gearing you want. Go to uh, the gearing, I think it's uh, Gearing Commander, Gear Commander. Basically, it's a website that's free, and um, you just go there and you figure out what kind of gearing is gonna work best for you before you buy your sprockets. And then head over to the Sprocket Center, and those guys will just hook you up and it's so easy they give you all the options they make sure you have the right chain length i mean it was perfect guys like seriously i only had to remove one link it was just you guys really nailed it and i really appreciate um you know how good of a product you guys sell yeah yeah i don't have my high beams on you stupid jack wagon okay i have my high beams on now Look at that, oh, the sunrise and that moon, it's so beautiful. Ah, oh, God, living life, boys and girls. You gotta live life and just enjoy these moments. This is what life's been all about. This is what being alive is all about. Sorry for that random interjection, but sometimes I just get moved by awesomeness that is in the universe that we choose not to see because we'd rather put our nose in our phones. Come on, guys. Come on! So anyways, this is my little rant. I'm done. Don't love Road Smart 3s! Sparkin Center! Ding, ding. That's all I got. I'm loving the bike. The bike's running great. I'm very excited about my, my Maryland trip that's going to be happening in like two, three more weeks. <laughs> And uh, I'm pretty sure this this thing's gonna be doing just fine. I hope I hope I'm about ready to get rid of that rear uh, rear tire. I'll be putting something melts on Road Five. Yeah, I'm at twenty-five thousand, almost twenty-five thousand five hundred. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Racking those miles. Hundred miles a day, baby where you find the goodness. All right. Well, folks, make sure you like and subscribe. If you don't, well, then don't like and subscribe. But, come on. What you should be doing is turn your YouTube browser off, turn the Google Chrome or Firefox off, getting out of that chair, going on a motorcycle ride for either your lunch break or on your way to work or on your home way home. Come on, guys. Yeah, it's a little cold today. No, it's not that bad. We're human beings. We were designed to endure this planet. Especially, we cheat. We wear, like, leather jackets and have heated grips and all that jazz. We're all good. All good. Go ride. Get out there. Best.